Hey guys, how you doing? I don't know what's going on with my light. <laughs> I'm sorry if you can't see me very well. Um, anyway, it is Thursday, the 14th of December, 2017. Did you do anything for today? Maybe do something with monkeys. Um, let's see, I can't remember what other days it was. Ah, did you have any bula bays or roast some chestnuts? Um, I still have not had any roasted chestnuts. <laughs> I'm going to have to do that one day. <laughs> um, so some holidays for tomorrow, Friday, the 15th of December. It is Cat Herders Day. Um, <laughs> and um, Cat Herders Day is for those of us whose lives or jobs are like herding cats. Uh, you've probably all heard that saying, this is like herding cats, meaning like it's impossible to do. And um, you know, ironically enough, there are people that train cats, like the, movie, the cats that you see in movies and stuff, they're trained to do certain things. Um, but uh, but some most cats kind of have a personality of their own, and there's just no changing that. <laughs> um, so some ideas of how to celebrate that were just kind of to share your stories about how your life is like hurting a bunch of cats. Um, it is free shipping day. Um, I am going to put a link down in the descriptions again, like I usually do. Um, this day happens on different dates that seem kind of random, but I think that it's the third Friday in December, uh, from what I can decipher. <laughs> Um, and they already have over 150 companies signed up for free shipping for that day. The complete list will be posted at 12.01 a.m. tomorrow um, on, the, on the link that I'm going to post. It is two holidays that kind of coincide with each other. Um, it is National Cupcake Day, and it is also National Lemon Cupcake Day. Don't ask me the difference. Um, <laughs> um, cupcakes actually um, were referred to in two different ways. So um, a long time ago, like back in the mid-1800s, um, cupcakes were made in like mugs or cups or things like that. So cupcake, you know, makes sense, right? Um, and also recipes, a cup of this, a cup of that. Um, but today we know now that we now know that as pound cake. And it was their way of measuring. Um, so pound cake comes from a pound of flour, a pound of this, you know, butter, sugar, whatever. But the same, it was the same principle, you know, a cup of sugar, a cup of flour, a cup of, yeah. So <laughs> that's where that comes from. So maybe make some cupcakes, uh, maybe make some holiday cupcakes. Just have fun with it. There are so many things that you can do. Um, there is another one, and I wish I knew the title of this episode. But on this day in 1997, over 600 children in Japan were rushed to hospitals after an especially intense Pokemon episode that led to dizziness and vomiting. <laughs> so, yeah, um, I had to stop my son watching uh, Power Rangers, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, because he was jumping off the couch trying to do it, and I was, like, afraid that he was going to break his legs, but, um, you know, when a, when a action, uh, what do you call it? Anime <laughs> is it, so, um, off that it's causing dizziness and vomiting. That's kind of scary. <laughs> cool, but scary. Like, oh my gosh, I almost want to see that just to see what happened. Like, oh my gosh. Um, it is Underdog Day, and this is the third Friday of um, December. 
Um, and this was actually created in 1976 to celebrate unsung heroes such as um, Sherlock Holmes' Dr. Watson or Robin Robinson Crusoe's Man Friday. Kind of almost like sidekicks, um, which I wasn't able to find out how it got that name because when you think underdog, you think of someone who's kind of, you know, they don't think that they're going to win a contest in something, you know, they're the underdog, but that's not what it is. So maybe it should be renamed Sidekick Day. <laughs> Helper, assistant, uh, really smart friend, I don't know, <laughs> advisor. Uh, <laughs> so um, once again, there are no more weeks left for the second week or third week. What week are we on? Third week. <laughs> wow, I am really out of <laughs> um, Oh, there is one. Tell someone they are doing a good job week. Um, so if you know somebody that is doing a good job, whether it's at work or a volunteer or, you know, there were some, some of my neighbors were out decorating, um, the halls just because it's deck the halls day. No, they didn't know anything about that. <laughs> no, just because they wanted to do something nice for the community and just say, you know, Hey, I think you're doing a good job. You're doing a good job being a dad or a mom, you know, or a good brother, whatever the case may be. Just tell somebody they're doing a good job, you know, and it always, I think it helps to lift people's spirits a little bit. Like, yeah. You know, maybe I am. <laughs> um, so it is Spiritual Literacy Month. Um, and spiritual literacy is, um, regardless of what name your faith might fall under, um, being open to learning about Face and seeing the truths um, and the commonalities um, in different faiths, you know, and, and just kind of um, taking all that in. Now, um, there is a book on spiritually sp spiritual literacy, um, and I will put a link to that as well. Um, I just think it's really pretty cool that, um, that it's out there, you know, because, um, you know, sometimes, uh, people don't always, aren't always open to not necessarily new ideas. I don't know how to word that, but, you know, they hear something and just a certain word kind of throws up a wall, you know, like, oh, I don't want to hear that. You know, because for whatever reason, you know, it's some kind of trigger or it goes against my beliefs or, you know, it's something that I don't want to talk about for whatever reason it might be. Um, but there is so much wisdom out there that doesn't come from the Quran or the Bible or the Torah or the, you know, and I'm not saying that, that those aren't good books because they are. Um, but, you know, if you're say Muslim, um, God is Allah, you know, um, and in Christianity, God is God, but both of the books have a lot of truth in them, you know, um, and I think ultimately the goal of every faith is pretty much the same, to become a better person, to become, um, more spiritually, I don't want to say literate, aware and um, to be aware of the things that are going all around you, spirit or God or, you know, whatever, Jehovah, whatever you want to call it is all around us every day. Um, and it's just kind of taking more time to see that, you know, and recognize that. So, and <laughs> this time I'm not coughing, I'm going to sneeze. Um, <laughs> so anyway. That is all I have for you tonight. Sorry, I ended on kind of a serious topic. Um, 
So to change it to not so serious, go make some cupcakes. Um, play with your frosting. No, wait, that didn't sound right. Um, <laughs> have fun decorating them. How about that? It's a little bit better anyway. <laughs> All right, you guys have a great rest of your evening. Have a great day tomorrow. I will see you then. Um, let me know if you watched the meteor shower and what you thought. I was, it was too cold for me and I tried looking out my window, but I'm in too much city light to really see anything. So, but it's a little, little bit warmer today. I might, um, I might try to brave the cold and see if I can still see much, um, this evening. All right. I'll see you manana. Bye.